All right, guys. Hey there. Welcome to another edition of Talking with Baby Cakes. Um, this is a pre-recorded video, as you can probably tell. Um, so I am going to remember how I've been saying. I want to try something different. I want to, you know, mix and match, and I want to try doing the stencils with like a paint or something. Well, today is the day. I'm super excited. Now, what I'm making here today is I am making, ooh, oh, that's a good, good sign, good sign. All right, I am going to be making a wedding gift for my son and uh, daughter-in-law. And by the time this video airs, she will definitely be my daughter-in-law. So uh, the wedding's coming up here in the next week, my time right now. Um, and so that's why this won't be airing until sometime in March ish um because i don't want them to see what i'm making beforehand that would be crazy right so what i did is i took and i know where they met um and so i wanted to uh do a um gps sign actually i wanted to do just the lat longs but the lat longs don't uh when i was looking up i was doing some research on what uh, when people did lat long type signs, latitude and longitude, in case you were wondering what that meant, uh, doing the lat long signs, I, I found more GPS coordinates than I did actual latitude and longitude uh, things. So what I did is I used my Cricut and I created this latitude and longitude uh, stencil that I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use it with just some uh, chalk, chalk paint um, and I'm going to, I'm going to use a method that I've been kind of, uh, seeing, uh, learning about. I don't know how it's going to work. Um, so maybe you won't see this video. No, I'm just kidding. You'll see this video because I want to show you that not everything is perfect. And sometimes all of us can make mistakes when we are uh, doing our crafting. So I want to be very honest with you about that. And sometimes it's a trial and error thing. So I already cut this out. Um, I designed it with a Cricut Design Space, um, and I cut this out on my Cricut with, um, I, I would tell you what type of uh, stencil uh, vinyl stuff that I use, but I really don't remember. It's a sticky kind. Um, it will not be reusable. Um, and honestly, I really won't need to reuse it because it is a uh, customized piece. You don't want to, Nobody's going to really care about this uh, GPS coordinates other than pot potentially them. So I'm going to try to get this down here even, as even as possible. And get this just put on here. And of course I've got, so a lot of people when they're using this type of stuff and they're putting it down, they'll use, uh, there is a stencil... A specific actual stencil um, brand that you can use to lay down your stencils to make it easier to get everything where you want it to be before you pull it off. I use plain old contact paper. I've got like five or six rolls that I got on sale or real cheap or something. I don't even know where they came from. I've had them that long. So I just use that and uh, I got this put down where I want it to go. And now I'm pulling, uh-oh, I didn't want that to come up. So if you're making reusable type stencils, um, Mylar, not the, the silkscreen stencils, which I can make reusable silkscreen stencils, um, you, you would have to bridge um, these letters and numbers that have um, holes cut out in the middle of them but with this type of stencil since it's not going to be reusable and the way I made it as long as it stays really good and yes I am having a little bit of issues with this this is not so you know you've seen me do my chalking videos and everything oh man see this is what happens when I talk and uh, don't pay attention to what I'm doing You've seen me use that my reusable silkscreen stencils, and I'm pretty gosh darn good at it if I if I do say so myself. Well, I'm having some issues with this. It's not going as uh, smoothly as I had hoped it would. But that just goes to show you, 
you can't be perfect at everything. And nothing has to really be perfect. It just has to be perfect for you. So I'm just pulling this off gently because I already had a little area where it's decided it wanted to, the stencil, decided it wanted to come off. Now, I'll be honest, whenever I've used these stencils before, I've just gotten a paintbrush and painted it. I've, I've never done what I am fixing to do today. Never. You're going to see it here live. Not live. I'm sorry. Pre-recorded. You're going to see me doing this for the first time ever. Um, it's a trick that I'm learning in a class that I'm in. So I'm hoping it works well for me. We're going to find out, aren't we? So I'm going to use this and I'm going to mix and match, like I said. Because for me, I don't like doing just one thing. I don't want to be, um, I want to know that I can uh, be versatile and not have to rely, just have my eggs all in one basket. So if I wanted to, I could actually reuse this. Because look, it's still pretty sticky and everything. But I probably won't, so I'm just going to fold it over and throw it on the floor over here, because why not? Um, all right, now, ooh, so I don't have my squeegee, so it's not like my stencils that I'm used to squeegeeing down and everything, but I want to make sure everything's kind of good and down, okay? And then I, I do have a silk screen stencil that I am going to use, so I'm going to put this over here kind of in the middle. And remember how I keep saying I wanted to try it with something other than just um, my chalk paste. So today I'm going to do that. I've got these little makeup sponges. And in the class that I'm in, they say to use these little makeup sponges um, or something along this line. Because um, you can reuse them over and over again. And this is just a Rust-Oleum chalk paint. If I can get it open. I thought I had, I brought a little stir stick in. Oh, I did. See my stir stick? Very highly technical, isn't it? It's just a little popsicle stick. And I'm sure you could get other ones, but I have a bunch of popsicle sticks left over from whatever crafts it is that I ha I've done with the kids throughout the year. So I'm just trying to get some of this stuff used up. Now, you can use tin foil or whatever you want to. I ended up having a bunch of these little little plates left over from a graduation party. And I'm just going to use these. So I'm going to dump some of this on here without trying to make too much of a mess because I don't want to make a mess mess. All right. Can you see me? All right. So. We'll just put this right here, kind of put this, and that's probably way more paint than I needed, so probably already, and I have my water bath over here, you know, like I do with my stencils, because when I do it on this stencil guy right here, matter of fact, I'm going to do this one first. When I do it on this guy right here, I'm going to want to put him, oh, sorry, <laughs> you couldn't see me. I want to put it, put it in the water bath right away. So let me try to get this a little more centered up. And if you see, look, I do have this on the top, so I didn't mess that up. Because we all know I've done that several, several times. All right, so I'm going to take it, I'm going to dab a little bit in here. But you don't want to keep all of that on the end. So I'm just going to dab a couple times just to get some of that off of there. And then I'm going to take and just kind of dab over this quickly. I need to get a little bit more because it doesn't feel like it's got that much on it. But I don't want it to run through. So this is something completely different for me. Let's see how it works. Think it's going to work out great, guys? So if you are watching this, because it's not going to be live, it's going to be on the replay, um, let me know what you think of this uh, little technique I'm doing here. Let me know what you think about how uh, 
how it's going to work. It's kind of loud. All right, getting done with this guy. And I would imagine it's going to be the same type of a, uh... oh, that came out really cute. Now I'm going to wash this real quick just because I want to see how well that comes off of there. Oh, it does. Look at that. So I was able to, because I washed it right away, I was able to get, and I don't want to drip this, I was able to get all of the chalk paint off of the stencil. So that's good news. So because I'm using chalk paint and not my washable chalk paste, this should be permanent, right? Because it's not going to wash off because it's the paint and not the paste. So now we're going to go through and we're going to do the rest. Now I do have, because you know the 38 is supposed to have a degree, so I am going to, this is going to be the fun part, I'm going to try to make my own little degree circle on there. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. We're going to try it out though. So I'm going to use that same technique. Now, if this wasn't stuck down so much, like it currently is, there might be some bleeding in this, in making this stencil. But because it is stuck down, I don't think I'm gonna have as much to worry about with the bleeding. And this is actually kind of easy. I kind of like this. And when I'm done with this, I'm just going to throw the stencil away because I'm not going to really need to use it again. And I should be able to actually put any of the leftover paint back in the can. Maybe. I don't know. Do you guys know that? Is that like a major painting faux pas, putting your paint back in the pan? If it is, let me know. I don't know. So like I said, this is just a brand new concept and technique for me. Every time I've ever done any of these types of stencils, I've always done it with a paintbrush. And uh, well, no, I, so I, I'm lying. I can't say that. Gosh, I have done it doing this uh, spongy method, but I've done it with one of those uh, loofah-like sponges, I guess you could say, when I make uh, my flags. So I don't know if, I've never put out there about my flags that I make. Um, I'll take and make a, a pallet, pallet wood flag with the 1776 on there with the circles, the 13 circles and 1776. Uh-oh. And this is where the mess up happens. So I wasn't paying attention and this little guy decided to come up. This is the six. So what I'm going to do, have to do, because I don't want to put that back on there now, is I'm going to have to go through on that six on the inside area and go over it with some white type paint to fix it. Gosh, I didn't even expect that to happen. Oops. Anyways, so back to the, the flags. It just goes to show you there is, you can mess up and you can fix it. So it's not gonna be that big of a deal. It'll be fine. But it just means I need to pay attention a little bit more to what I'm doing and not talk so much. How would you guys like that for me not to talk so much? Because I do talk a lot on these, don't I? So I do make flags. Um, I make them rather big. Um, they're a good size, good palette size flag. And I'll take a palettes apart. I'll take the palette, pallets apart and then I'll put them back together um, to make a good solid flag and then I'll uh, paint it put the 13 stripes on there paint a little blue area for the the stars put the 13 stars on there with the 1776 and then with the stars in the 1776 I actually use one of those huge loofah sponges and uh, not huge I guess but just like a crafty loofah sponge, not like this, and uh, do the stars in the 1776 on there. So I guess I have done this before. 
without really realizing it. And it does work really well. Um, it makes sense to go ahead and dab off the, the paint a little bit before you get going though too, so this way you don't have as much runover because the stencil that I use on that one is a Mylar stencil, not a sticky stencil. And I've used it several times. All right, here's the moment of truth. Now, remember what I said, this little guy popped off for me. So I am gonna have to fix that area. And we've only been going, we've been going less than 20 minutes right now. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous pulling this off. I need a place to put that. I guess I'll put it right there. I don't want to get... Maybe I should have brought some of my Cricut tools in with me, right? To be able to get some of this stuff off without making too much of a mess. This is looking great, except for that six. That gosh darn six, right? That's okay. Like I said, I can fix it. Because I can fix just about everything. Part of my consulting fee when I do chalk and talks, right? Hands up if you know what I'm talking about. Consulting, consulting at the chalk and talks. That's what I'm there for. I should have brought my little lifter guys. Because I'm having issues getting it up with my fingernails and I don't want to screw it up. So this might take a little bit longer. <laughs> you might have me for longer than you expected. I'm concentrating, so I'm being quiet. Shh, very, very quiet. I don't have any buttons. Who would be misses those old cartoons? These new cartoons they're coming out with, I'm not very happy with them. Although, my kids don't really watch cartoons anymore, so it doesn't matter. can see where there was a little bleeding there because I must have had too much paste. You can see it was a line. That's okay though. All right, we are almost done guys. I'll show you this. <laughs> Next time I'm definitely bringing in the little lifter thingies. Make it easier to get these off. I don't use my vinyl or my Cricut that much. I really don't, as much as I thought I would. All right. I am going to paint a little degrees sign on there, but anyways, this is what I came up with. So, as you can tell, I'm gonna have to fix this six area right here because it came off when I was, when I was sponging it, but it looks great. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. This is a, another game changer for me. So I don't have to use just chalk paste. I can use the paint and it'll work just fine. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, you want to catch me at a chalk and talk, um, you want to book your own chalk and talk, um, you want to join my team, you want to find out how I do what I do, uh, just hit me up below and I will uh, be more than happy to answer any of your questions. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. And I don't have my little clicker yet, so I have to come out here and actually stop the video. All right. Bye, guys.